Okay, this is just a uh, quick review for those of you that still need some help uh, with uh, creating the uh, web page. Basically, what I've done over here is I've brought up WinSCP, which you can download, you can do from home. And as we saw in class, the left-hand side over here, that's the local machine. And the one on the right-hand side is the uh, the uh, CS12 machine, which is going to be hosting your web pages. Uh, I'm in my home directory over here, Waxman. But as we saw, that when you put uh, stuff on the web that you want to be able to display through somebody else's browser, you need to create under your home directory, under the Waxman in my case, under yours, whatever yours happens to be, <clears throat> you need to create a public HTML folder, which you all have, and everything that's going to be displayed on the web is going to be in that public HTML folder. So um, I have one here, I'm going to click on it, we saw this in class. And what I'm going to do is, since I have one here, I'm going to create another folder called CS12 under there, and since CS12 is under my public HTML, I can put my web material there too. So let me go in here for a second. And here I have two, um, two files that I've set up already. One is index.html, and the other one is, um, is about me. Now, um, the index.html is the main web page. I've got stuff in here already, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of it just, and uh, we'll, we'll start doing it from scratch. So um, what we definitely need, though, is we need to have uh, the shell of it in order to make it work. And what does the shell of it look like? So the shell of it basically has, uh, let me just get rid of this. OK, the shell of it basically has the following information. Um, it's going to say I'm an HTML file. All the HTML files look like this. And at the very end, it's going to say, uh, this is the end of the HTML file. We saw the brackets. Then there's the header, right? It says here's the header, and here's the end of the header. And then here's the body part. And uh, the body part also says, uh, here I am. And then, it, uh, and then it goes away. So this is the, uh, the very, very basic uh, uh, skeleton, if you will, of, the, uh, of an HTML file. Now in the head part, we can also put a title. And whatever we put in the title, that's going to show up when the web page actually loads. So let's put a title over here. And that's also a tag. And we simply type title, T-I-T-L-E. And then after the title, we put whatever we want. Say, welcome to the web page, to the CS12 page. OK, and then uh, since it's a tag, uh, this one requires to be closed, so slash T-I-T-L-E. OK, so now I have a title. And that goes into the head. So here's the head starts over here. And um, and uh, we have a title, and uh, title ends, and here's where the head ends. Now, here comes the body, and the body is the actual main web page itself. Now, what we want to have is we want to have something that says um, uh, on the page, it says click here to see uh, about me, click here to see about my family, everything that we discussed in class. So each one of those is going to be a separate file that we have to set up. And uh, the way we get to that is with an anchor tag. Well, first of all, I want everything to be centered. So let me start with a center tag. And uh, I want this to be a title. So I say h1, uh, uh, a header. So the, the header is uh, h1 means the, um, the biggest of the headers, h1. And it's going to be centered. And it's going to say CS12 web page. I could have it say whatever I want, obviously, right? I want to skip a line. And not just uh, go to the next line, skipping line, so I have the paragraph tag. And I'm going to say, uh, click here to see about me. So that we saw is an anchor tag. And so that goes A. And the attribute that goes with the anchor tag is the href, which is a hypertext reference. And um, that's going to be um, the name of the file that's going to be loaded uh, by the web uh, server when you click on the text that we're going to show in a second. So if it could be about me, I'm going to have a file called, say, about me. It could be called anything, right? .html. Um, and then I close the string. And I close the top of the tag. And now here's what's going to be shown uh, to bring that file in. So I say something like click here to see about me. Okay, and then I close the whole anchor business by closing the tag. So it starts by saying, A, I'm an anchor, and then the attribute href, and this is the file that's going to be brought in, and it's going to say, click here to see about me, and that's going to close it up. So this is going to be stored in um, under public.html under the folder called CS12, 
and that's index.html. So let's save this and see what happens when we uh, try to get at this file uh, with the browser. So I'm going to save it and let's see what happens. So I brought the browser up, but I want you to notice first of all that in class when we were looking at this, um, what um, I was typing to get the URL was cs12 cs qc cuny edu slash tilde waxman but now since I put it one folder below uh, my public HTML I have to say what folder I want the web server to serve from so I say don't just go to my public HTML which would be the default uh, under my home directory but I say go down one uh, level further so that's why I say cs12 and what is going to be actually shown on that right what does it look like well basically what we put there right so what we put there was uh, this right the actual web page itself right it says cs12 web page now why does it say cs12 web page because that's what we said it's all centered here now it says click here to see about me what makes it clickable is the fact that we had an anchor tag now when I click on this thing what's going to happen is um, I'm, it says all about me blah 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 where did that come from well, it came from because earlier, before I actually started the session, I set up a file in that uh, CS12 folder called aboutme.html. Right? In fact, if you look over here, you see that's the file that was brought in. Had that file not been there, I would have got an error, right? Uh, only because I set it up. And likewise, when I talk about my family, uh, my friends, uh, my hobbies, all that, every every one of those is going to be calling a file. That file has to be available, and I have to say exactly where that uh, file is. Uh, if it's in local directory, as we saw in class, I don't have to worry about that because it's going to look wherever that uh, index.html file refers uh, to it. So if we go back to the index.html file, right it says um, well I want you to bring in a file called aboutme.html and as we saw in class since it doesn't say where to find that file it doesn't say what folder it's in it just simply says here's the file so it assumes it's going to be in the same directory as the file that references it well this is an index.html file as you can see here but what folder is that in that is in the cs12 directory and so it looks for aboutme.html in the cs12 directory is it in fact there well let's take a look the file is right here, right? I'm in the CS12 folder, and it says index.html. If I click on it, uh, as I said, I set it up earlier, um, and it says what we saw, CS12 web page, uh, click here to see about me, uh, and the other uh, file, the other file, which is about me.html, if I open that file up, we're going to see all that stuff that we saw before. So, for example, Here's about me that HTML it says all about me and there was the blah 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 that we saw before. If I change this, if I come in here and edit it and say hello there, and then I say let's put a break in here. Br takes me to the next line. Right, we type this and we save this. Again, where are we saving this? This is in the uh, uh, CS12 folder, and that's where it's being referred to. Uh, if we refresh the web page uh, and we go to About Me, we should see the changes. So if here I say click here to see About Me, um, we still have that blah blah blah. Let me try to refresh this page, and now it says hello there, welcome, because that's the change that we made. Okay, now what about pictures? How do we bring a picture into the web page? I want to bring a picture, say, into the index uh, to show on the main web page. So that's pretty straightforward. All we have to do is we have to um, just put the uh, image tag into the file that we want the picture to be displayed in. So let me do that. So right after it's going to say uh, the CS12 web page, I'm skipping a line here, and I want to bring the picture in. So the picture tag, as we saw in class, is the IMG, which stands for image. And then we have SRC, which stands for source. Uh, the source is going to be, let's say, a picture, let's say, called um, puppy1.jpg. I think that's the one that we had in class. So I'm going to call it, I have to, I have to put the attribute here for this, um, the, the attribute value for the source attribute. In other words, what is the image? What's the source of the image that you want me to demonstrate? So I say the source is a file called puppy1.jpg. I close that up. Now, for this thing to work, of course, there has to be um, there has to be a puppy. There has to be a picture of that thing, 
just let me list another line over here. Uh, uh, well, let's save this and see what happens. So when I save this and I go back to display the web page, the main web page, because this is my index.html, let's see what happens. Here. So I'm back at WinSCP, and I'm going to go into my temp folder, uh, which is where I have the picture. It's a picture of my puppy, and to bring it across to the CS12 folder, because that's where I'm working from right now, instead of one folder up, which is the one that we worked on in class, I just pick up the puppy, and I drag it just like I would in any Windows uh, program. I hit copy, and it copies it over from my local machine over here. Now. When I refer to that puppy in my index.html file, that puppy should be there. So let's see if it actually is. Let's try to see what happens with the browser. Okay, so I'm going to refresh this. And there is the picture of my puppy. I was able to find the puppy because it's where I referred to him. And that's basically the idea. So if we want to say something like click here about my family, I do exactly the same thing. I go into the folder that I'm working from. I make sure I have the appropriate HTML file. So if I want to say click here about my family, I would first go back to my index.html file. And I would add, let's say right over here, put another paragraph down here. And say basically another anchor tag. I'm just going to copy it from here because it's going to really be the same thing, except it's going to be referring to just a different file. So I'm going to click copy, bring it down here, and paste it, and say this is going to be not about me, but say it's about my family. So I'm going to have, I have to have a, a file now called my family, and say click here to see about my family. So now there's this tag here. The only thing is that my family HTML doesn't yet exist. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back to my web page. I'm going to refresh my web page. Now it says click here to see about my family, but when I click it, I'm going to get an error. Right? The error says not found. Well, obviously it's not found because I didn't create such a file. So I've got to go back and in the same folder, in other words, in my CS12 folder, it's looking for something called my family.html, but it's not there. So just like I created about me.html, I create my family.html. What does that look like? Well, let's check it out. I go back to I win SCP, I come to files, I say new, I say file, and I'm going to call it my family dot HTML and it says OK. And what I'm going to write in here will be all the HTML that we need, and I'm going to save it. So what kind of HTML in fact do we need? Well we've got to say that it is an HTML file. So we say HTML. Um, if we want, we can put a header in here. I'm not going to put a header. I'm, I'm going to put a title. I'm just going to put the header over here. Um, and I'm going to immediately close it up. We could put the title in as we saw before. You should do this. I'm going to put the body in. Um, I can put everything else I had before. I could say center uh, or not. Anything that I want, right? And the browser will do what I tell it to. And I can say uh, here is all about my family. Now I just close up the body and I close up the HTML file and I'm done. And now I save this file and it should be saved uh, in the appropriate folder though uh, I'm not sure. Let's see what, what's going to happen over here. Let me close it up. And so here's my file, my family.html, and that's uh, what we just wrote in here, right? All the information here is about my family. I'm going to close it up, and I just want to make sure exactly what the permissions are. We spoke about this in class as well, so I right-click, I go to the properties, and in fact it's available to the world. As the owner, I can read and I can write it, my group, well, it doesn't make a difference here, but the others can read the file. If this thing would be off, if we said others can't read, so then the uh, web server would not serve it up for any requests. I say OK. 
just cancel the changes and now when I come back to my web page um, I should be able to see that information so back to my web page click here to see about me click here to see about my family and now here's all about my family and that's basically what you need to do